hey y'all it's t and welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be bringing you guys along with us as we refresh and decorate our front porch so the first thing that we need to do before we even get to the decorating we have to get everything cleaned up there's a lot of leftover pollen and cobwebs and other things that are on this porch but today we're going to get all of that taken care of so my husband is going to help me out and come in and do the pressure washing for me while i record and then i'll come back after everything is nice and dried to decorate so my plans for the space is to keep it nice, simple, and uncluttered. I do have a pretty sizable front porch, but I do not want to crowd it with a whole bunch of items. So I want to keep it really, really simple. So here's the pressure washer that my husband will be using to get everything all nice and clean. It's the Ryobi Electric Premium Pressure Washer. I will have it linked down in the description box in my Amazon store if you are interested in it. The cleaner that we'll be using is the Crud Cutter Concrete and Driveway Concentrate. And this can be purchased from either Home Depot or Lowe's. So I want to take this time out to introduce myself. My name is T and on this channel, you'll be seeing cleaning videos. You also see shop with me, home decor, home improvement and organizational videos on this channel. So if that type of content interests you, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time I post a brand new video.
was hoping for another dawn Now I'm looking everywhere for you Cause I need another dance We need another chance I'm waiting for, waiting for, waiting for Waiting for the sign mm -hmm. Waiting for a sign something new very new for me which is planting so i'm going to give it a try hopefully i don't kill these plants if i do i'll take them across the street to my neighbor so she can help me bring them back to life but what i'll be using will be these planters right here that i picked up from marshall's and i have two of the big ones these were 12.99 and then i have two of the smaller ones which are $7.99 and they do have the um, drain plugs in the bottom so when I water it I can just unplug it and they are like a ceramic and then the big ones have it in there too so I could just unplug it when I water and then for the plants I'll be using these petunias right here that I picked up from my local nurseries I just noticed the name of that bee's knees. Okay, then. <laughs> All right, so I'll be um, using that. And I don't know what it is about yellow, but yellow is really popping to me right now. Even though blue is my favorite color, yellow is speaking to me right now. So that's why I got the yellow. And then I have the Creeping Jenny that I picked up from Walmart. These were like $3.22 each. Oh, and the petunias came from my local nursery. I could not find yellow anywhere but my local nursery. I checked Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, everywhere. Nobody had it. And then also from my local nursery, the wind just blew one of them over. But I picked these up, the Dracenia Spikes, from my local nursery as well. And then for the potting mix, I'll be using this bag right here. We opened the bag upside down. That's why I had to turn my camera this way. But it's the Golden Kellogg Organic All Natural Raised Bed and Potty Mix. And you can use it for raised beds, fruits, vegetables, and herbs, or annuals and perennials. So I'll be using that as my soil. All right, so I'm about to get started. Oh, 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 oh,
So I wanted to encourage someone real quick. If you are scared to do your own plants, just look around on Pinterest. I found this picture on Pinterest and I kind of used that as my inspiration to make my planters. So here is the plant food that I also forgot to shake into the soil, but I did, you can shake it on the top and then water it from there. So I did go ahead and add that. All right, so I'm about to decorate the porch and this is everything that I'll be using. Here are the plants that I just put together in the planters. And then here is a wreath that I'll be using on the door. It does have like some little specks of like yellow and white in here. I started to add some other yellow flowers, but I think I'm just gonna leave it as is because I really like the greenery on it. And this came from Burlington and it was $19.99. And then for my pillows, I'm using, this is an old couch pillow that I had. We got rid of the couch, but I kept a few pillows for this purpose to just buy pillow covers from Amazon and reuse it so I don't have a closet full of pillows. That's what I did here and you can see I already have the black and white on one of them. I'm going to put it on this one and this is also another pillow. Well, I actually bought this on clearance at Walmart and it was $2.50 um, after their, I guess, harvest or fall season. So I'm gonna cover that with the yellow and white one and that's the other one already covered. Okay, so here is the um, wreath hanger. I've had this for years. I got it from Hobby Lobby on clearance. Y'all know me, I'm a clearance shopper. Okay, so this um, doormat right here, the black and white, it came from Amazon and it's pretty big. I really like that. And then these candles came from Amazon. It came in like a set of nine and I just picked two out that were the same size i'm not even sure if i'm going to use these but i will link those in the description box and then these lanterns right here i may use these i'm not sure because it's decent light out here at night because of our path lights so i'm going to see if i'm going to use these once it gets dark out here i may not but these came from hobby lobby if you saw my hobby lobby um home decor clearance sale video these were $7.49. You probably can't even tell, but they were $7.49 from Hobby Lobby. Also came from Hobby Lobby. I bought it on their 50% off sale. And it was $10. Keep an eye out for Hobby Lobby. If you see something you like, just check back every week because more than likely it will go 50% off. And then finally, these are the planners that I'll be using. I purchased these from Burlington. And these are the two small ones that I have. And they're priced for $8.99, but I actually got a little bit off. I think I got 20% off because for some reason they were like dented up on the sides like this and they took 20% off. So I got two of those. And then in my last video, you saw me paint one of these. Remember I told you guys that I had a black one and I needed the other one to be black. This is the one that I painted right here. And I think it came out pretty good. And this is the other one. Uh-oh. And they were $14.99. So that is everything that I'll be using to decorate the porch with. So I'm about to get started.
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that it gave you the motivation that you needed to get your outdoor spaces together. If you need motivation to get a screen porch or deck area together, I also have a video on that that I will link in the description box. So that is all that I have for you in today's video. I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.